Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. This is the first video of a series in which we'll be learning the basics of Kiwi. Kiwi is a library that you can use to make GUI apps also for mobile devices. In this series, we'll be creating a game application called SlugRace. The code will be written in Python and in the Kiwi language, which is used primarily to lay out all the elements of the GUI on the screen, but not only that. You can also read the written version of this video on my Python programming blog at prospercoder.com. Before we start working on the SlugRace Kiwi Python project, let's have a look at what it's all about. SlugRace is a game that combines a typical GUI application with animated graphics. This is a game for one to four players who put the bats on four slugs. When you start the game, you will see the settings screen. Here you can set the following, the number of players, one player, two, three or four, the names of the players, like for example, Joe, Mary, or you can leave them empty. You can also set the initial money each player has when the game begins. Here we have the default value of 1000, but this can be changed to like, for example, 2000 or whatever. You can also set the ending conditions. So when should the game end? There are three options here. The game is over when there is only one player with any money left. The second option is the game is over not later than after a given number of races. And here you can set the number of races. Or, the game is over not later than the total racing time has elapsed, and here you can set the maximum time of the game. So let's choose the first one, for example. And now when you press the ready button, you move on to the main screen of the game. This screen is divided into several panels. The game info panel, where you can see the number of the race, the time of the game, etc. The Slug Stats panel, where you can see the names of the Slugs and their wins. The Player Stats panel, where you can see the names of the players and their current amount of money. The Main Game panel in the middle with the race track, where the Slugs run. And the Bats panel, where you can place your bats. The Bats panel is actually a separate screen, so let's try it out. Joe bets 340 bucks on Speedster. This is this slug over here. Mary bets 410 bucks on Ify. This one here. Then we didn't set the names of player 3 and 4. And this is why we have the default names of these two players here. Player 3 bets $41 on Speedster 2. And player 4 bats, we can also enter this value here, like for example 500 bucks on Slowpoke. Now, when all these bets are placed, we can press the Go button. When we press the Go button, the race begins. You're running, Speedster is winning now, and Speedster is the winner. So, the bets panel now changed to the results panel, which is also actually a separate screen. Here you can see the results. Joe had $2,000, this is the initial value we set in the settings screen, and he bet $340 on Speedster, so he won $479. And now he has $2,479, and here are the odds. 
So how probable it is that a given slug will win? They changed over time. Here you can see the slug stats and the player stats have changed. And they change after each race. When you press the next race button in this results panel, it'll change back to the bats panel. Now in the upper right corner, there are three buttons, end game. This lets you end the game at any time and takes you to the game over screen. Instructions. This takes you to the instructions screen and sound. It turns the sound on or off. So this is the application we're going to create using Kiwi with Python. But before we start working on our project, in the first couple posts in the series, we'll have a look at the basics of Kiwi. We're going to start the project as soon as possible, but first we have to learn what the basic Kiwi program looks like. But even before that, we have to set up our environment. So in the next video in this series, I'll show you how to install Kiwi, or rather where to find information on how to do it on different systems, and how to use Visual Studio Code with the Python and Kiwi extensions. This is my code editor of choice. If you have other preferences, you can use any editor or IDE you like. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.